SAFM, South Africa's news and information leader. Thank you, Nancy. More advice for the finance minister and former IMF chief linked to Corgills. Good afternoon. The South African Chamber of Commerce and Industry, SACI, says in tomorrow's budget speech, Finance Minister Praveen Gordon must announce reforms to help provinces balance their books. There are a number of expectations from Gordon's address tomorrow, including job creation, infrastructure fund, funding and helping provinces like Limpopo out of insolvency. SACI CEO Niran Rao. In a survey of our members not too long ago, 52% of our members indicated that municipal service delivery problems are having an impact on their operating costs. 20% said the lack of service delivery stopped them from operating at all. And another 20% said the failure of municipalities to deliver services severely reduced the levels of business that they could conduct. Management of Impala Platinum has called on police to do everything in their power to ensure the safety of employees at their Rustenburg operation. This follows the death of a discharged winch operator on Sunday night in a standoff with two striking workers. Another employee was injured. Almost 8,000 workers have been rehired thus far. Workers went on strike last month demanding better wages. Impala Platinum's Johan Teron explains that this has a huge impact on their operations. Well, at this stage, um, we're entering the fifth week and we haven't been able to produce from underground because quite clearly we don't have enough workers. But we're starting to get to that now, a critical mass where you know we need to think about how do we get the shafts going again and hopefully if we can just break the cycle of violence, we'll have enough people back soon to restart production. Members of the Khoisan community have gathered in front of the Department of Land Reform and Rural Development's offices in Pretoria today to hand over a memorandum of demands. They're demanding as the first indigenous nation urgent intervention to process their land claims, as well as technical and financial assistance. The Khoisan community has been successful with claims on the Richterfeld and the Kalahari Kremsburg National Park in the Northern Cape. Khoisan representative Stephen Katz says they have also lodged claims in the Western Cape, parts of Gauteng and, or, and rather about the whole of the Northern Cape. He says they are being disregarded by the Department of Land Reform and Rural Development. Basically what we need is all the land claims that is currently with the Department of Land Reform. We need that to be expedited and be you know, taken care of so that we as a Khoisan nation can move forward in, you know, getting ourselves away from the past. We've been marginalized, we've been, you know, taken away, dispossessed. Mulemo Jubjub Marahani's murder trial has been adjourned to tomorrow as the current witness, a taxi driver, had to leave to pick up school children. Benjamin Maseko is Marahani's second defense witness in the Protea Magistrates Court. He earlier told the court that he witnessed the incident where four children were killed and two others injured in 2010. Maseko testified that he did not see the two Mini Coopers driven by the two accused, Marahani and Temba Shabalala, drag racing. Pearl Magobani has more. Magistrate Brian Nemabidi has warned Duke Duke defense witness Benjamin Maseko to make other arrangements for the school kids to be picked up tomorrow so he can continue with his testimony. Maseko is the taxi driver that witnessed the fatal accident on March 8, 2010. He has collaborated Jube Jube's testimony that Timber was the one on the wrong side of the road trying to overtake Jube Jube when the accident occurred. He has also denied that the two Mini Coopers were drag racing. The trial will continue tomorrow. For Makubane SAPC News, Protea Magistrates Court. Further afield, the former head of the International Monetary Fund, Dominique Strauss-Kahn, is being questioned by French police today about an alleged prostitution ring. Strauss-Kahn resigned as head of the IMF in May last year after he was accused of sexually assaulting a hotel maid. He denied the accusation and the charge was later dropped.